at the Strat Theater with the world's greatest mentalist, Banachek. Come up, we're talking all about his mind games show live here at the Strat Plus. We're talking some mentalism and having some amazing, amazing things like this happen on the show. That's coming up on more. Fun, but first, Banachek is a mentalist headlining his own production on the Las Vegas Strip for the first time. Banachek's Mind Games Live is live six days a week at 4 p.m. Oh, boy. And this morning, Mike Davis is live at the Strat Theater previewing the new show. And, Mike, are you a believer in mind games and things like that? I think Banachek is going to make me a believer. This guy's remarkable. You know, Banachek, it's great spending time with you. I want to start at the beginning with you because you were born in England and you were raised in South Africa, but I can't even really say raised because you raised yourself at the age of nine. Your parents abandoned you and your brother. So you yeah. raised a one and a three year old at the age of nine all by yourself and, until I was 15. Yeah. How yeah. did this occur and how has this influenced your life now? Well, my mom just picked up and left one day. We did have a stepfather, but he was alcoholic. Like we only saw him on Sundays, and that's if I drove that drug him in from the car, you know, which often I wouldn't do because it was a little bit abusive as well. Um, so yeah, I, you know, you do what you have to do, but I had to think outside the box to put a meal on the table, to play a new game. Couldn't afford things, so I had to make things. And I think it's that upbringing that really allowed me to think as a troubleshooter. Like I create effects for other people. Uh, David Blaine, Chris Angel. Uh, I did over a hundred episodes of television with Chris Angel, and we created over 300 tricks every. Single season. Uh, other people have called me as well, and and they, if you give me an idea, I can come up with methods for you to do those effects, those tricks. It's those really illusions. remarkable, and that's what's so funny about you. It's almost hard to comprehend the mentalism, but it's it's also hard to just comprehend your real life and let's talk a little bit about because the way I kind of liken you is you're like almost like the songwriter who's writing the hits behind all these people like you mentioned David Blaine Chris Angel Penn and Teller all these tricks or some of these tricks yeah. they've been doing that was from your creation your mind and now you're finally gonna go front and center and you're gonna stop being the songwriter for other people and you're doing your own thing how gratifying is this to now have your own show it's here at the Strat on the last it's Vegas extremely trip. gratifying to be here in Vegas but I've been very successful I've taken college entertainer of the year two years in a row I used to do 175 colleges a year traveling around uh, I've worked comedy clubs I mean I've worked almost every single environment to, but to have a theater where you can play and you can work on new effects and you can try out new things is an incredible unique experience for we're me. very excited six days a week dark tuesdays 4 p.m here at the strat theater coming up we're going to be doing some mentalism stuff we got a lot of exciting things planned real quick though because we wrap up and just do i i love that i love you doing it. it's the greatest thing i've ever seen just teach me how to do it it's basically you do this two fingers yeah. right and you go like that little pinky down a little bit and it's how would I do with the eyes? You have beautiful eyes. Yeah, I, I can't like help. You, I can't help you there, okay. but thank right, you. Just yeah, like, just like that. He's a I feel silly right now, but it's okay, right? <laughs> oh boy, Cassandra, Alyssa, how, who who looks better doing this? Right, let's do go. you want the truth? <laughs> do you want the truth, Mike? You could say anything right now because I can't hear them. So yeah, okay. they think it's you. It's not me. Coming up, we're, we're going to hang out with Ben and check some more. All right, Mike. Thank you. We're going to be checking back in with Mike Davis. He is live this morning at the Strat, hanging out with the mentalist Banachek. Now, Mike, you teased us. What are we going to be seeing from Banachek? Yes, we're going to get right into it. World's greatest mentalist, Banachek. Banachek, show us this demonstration. I will. You've had a chance to look at these books, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. So let me take the little one right here, and I'm going to go through it like this. You can see the words at the top of the page, all different. At some point, you're going to say, stop. You will look at the first one at the top of the okay. page. It's the one facing you. Page comes at the bottom, so I don't know what page you're at. Say stop anytime. Stop. Look at the first word at the top of that page. Okay. You have it? Yes. Good. I want you to see your word nice and big up there. See all the letters in your word. Think of any letter in the middle of your word. Got one? Mm -hmm. I got two like you changed. Are you thinking of a T? Yes. yes, it starts with an L, doesn't it? Keep thinking. Yes. Uh, ends in an N. I went over there. Yes, okay, good. Lotion, is that your word? Yo, how did you just do that? That was it, right? That's the word, lotion. Yeah, say stop one more time. Stop. Okay. 
page 104. Turn to page 104 in that book, but don't let me see. I'll hold it up so I can't see it. It's important. And while you do that, because we are rushed for time, because okay. we have something important we want right, to do. All right, we got a fun one here. Yep. All right. So I'm going to lay this out on the table like that. All right. I'm going to take uh, th this piece of paper right here, and I'm going to put it right there. Let's put a pen on top like oh this. Gosh. And I want you to imagine, we're going to cover it up. I want you to imagine, if you will, the pen standing up and writing out your word. Put your hand on my shoulder. Just think of your word. Okay. It's going to look a little strange. Oh, my Lord. No. You're thinking of it. Imagine no. the pen writing it out. No, 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 no. I think we've got it. What was your word? Aroused. What? Oh, Aroused. my Lord. What? Are you serious right now? We my, have one more piece crazy. of business we're going to take care of. Yes. So my, but I, got, I, I, I have to sit down. I'm just <laughs> wowed. What's going? Tell us about this because so, we have something very exciting. Yeah, I'm president of the James Randi Educational Foundation. It's where we offer a million dollars for anybody that can do anything psychic. So everything yes. I do duplicates psychic for yes. I don't want people to think at home that I'm a psychic. But inside this locked briefcase, I have another envelope, and inside that is another envelope and another envelope, and I am trying to predict. I try to take a look at everything that's going to be on the front page of the newspaper when we open it up that day and events that have happened during that week. So let me explain this. Uh, my mind is blown right now, but Banachek is giving me this suitcase, guys, Cassandra and Alyssa, to take home with me over the weekend. On Tuesday... Keep it safe. Don't let me anywhere near it. I'm going to sleep with it. I'm going to cuddle it. I'm going to have my really? Cheerios Are with you really it. Gonna I'm going to do all of it, okay? <laughs> but Banachek's going to come back two more outside the studio in the parking lot on Tuesday, and I'm going to deliver this case to you. Yep. And you're saying right now... You're going to be over there, right? You're gonna I'm going to be there. It's going to be you and okay, me. Yep. I'm never... Because this doesn't I'll, work if you don't bring this. I'm going to bring it. So you already made a prediction of what's going to be on the newspaper on Tuesday? Uh, I, you'll, we'll see. What? I don't know how accurate it's going to be. I have no clue. I mean, I got a week of shows, and we've been opening up the shows. We have Listen, shows every evening of tomorrow. Banachek's Mind Games Live, the Strat Theater. If you just saw what happened, you got to come see it. Six days a week, dark on Tuesday. Banachek, uh, I guess I'm, I can just take this You can now. take it with you. It's yours. Thank you. Bye. I, I, bye. I'm so, um, bye. Oh, I'll, my I'll goodness. I'll see Banachek on... Um, Mike, my I'm mind gonna just take this out the door. is blown. Wow, that is crazy. So he's going to be joining us on more next week, and we're going to see if the, the mind-blowing continues. This is crazy. Thanks so much for that, Mike. He's gone. Oh, Alyssa? Did he just guess what was going to be in the news yes. next week? Well, he's the prime suspect now. <laughs> Guys, you remember last Friday we were with the mentalist Banachek at the Strat. He left me after that interview with this suitcase for a big reveal. Coming up on more, we're finally opening this baby up. You're not going to want to miss it. It's going to blow your mind. That's coming up on more. Las Vegas' favorite lifestyle and entertainment show. Mm -hmm. But first, <laughs> Banachek is playing mind games with our own Mike Davis. If you remember last week, the mentalist left Mike with a suitcase after their interview together. All right. Now, Mike, can you assure us that the suitcase hasn't left your sight? Hasn't left my sight. Cassandra Jones was in for you on Friday, Jason. Right. So Alyssa knows what we're talking mm -hmm. about. Banachek, the mentalist, he wowed us on Friday, and then he even wanted to wow us some more, and that's why he left me with this suitcase on Friday. Let's play this clip right now, and you see how I spent my weekend with this suitcase. Let's play this clip. Banachek is giving me this suitcase, guys, to take home with me over the weekend. Keep it safe. Don't let me anywhere near it. I can just take this You can out. take it with you. It's yours. Thank you. Bye. I, I, bye. I'm so <laughs> bye. He's gone. So, Eric, our photog and cameraman, you can see you put the Curb Your Enthusiasm music-ish 
to that poll video, he thinks I'm like Larry David. But as you can see, that's what happened. Friday, Banachek gave me this suitcase. And Banachek, you wowed us on Friday. Mind-blowing stuff. Can you just give us a tease of what's going to happen when I open this? Well, there's been a bunch of things that have happened since that time, right? Yeah. I mean, we've had Kabul. We had the Raiders play. You've done multiple things as well. I made some predictions that I placed inside there. And to be honest with you, I don't remember exactly all of the predictions <laughs> I made at the time. So I'm a little bit nervous about this, but we'll see what plays out on the air. Okay. Now, for Jason and Alyssa, before we go back to them, just I want to assure you, because I went home after Friday after we interviewed brought this with me everybody at home so I was doing a you know cleaning my room sleeping with this I mean you didn't enter my home you didn't break into my house you took that out of my strat theater where I do right. my show every day at 4 p.m. right you took it I have not seen you since except on TV I've seen you on TV yeah. when you're dressed up as Elvis and that okay. yeah I've seen that um, but other than that you've had that with you the entire time I haven't been at the Fox there's a lot of security here <laughs> so I couldn't get in there anyway so we're just in what we're trying to say everybody is when this happens later in the show in a little bit when we open this up everything I've known for the past 29 years of my life might change it's gonna be wow it it will change you'll be sitting around for the next at least 48 hours going how the <laughs> yeah okay bad check at the Strat Theater every day 4 p.m. you're gonna want to check him out he's the greatest mentalist we got here I mean even Joe Rogan loves you Penn and Teller loves you everybody loves you coming up in a little bit you're gonna stick around because we're opening this baby up that is, that's more, that was more of a buildup than what was in Al Capone's <laughs> secret vault that Geraldo did uh, several years ago. I'm right. excited about this. Geraldo, well, he, Geraldo's going to be here too, probably. No problem. He, Geraldo <laughs> might be in here. There may be nothing in the vault. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've been waiting since last week, so, yes. so what's another 30 minutes? Right, right. All right. Thank Thanks you, Mike. <laughs> All right, it's finally time. Banachek's suitcase has not left Mike's sight since their interview late last week. If you'll remember, Banachek put a note inside the locked suitcase that had predictions on what we were going to cover today in the news. Now, Mike, you've had the suitcase with you all weekend, and you swear that you have not and nobody has tampered with this suitcase since last week. Um, is that correct? Correct. I've been... It's been under my watch. I've been here with Banachek all morning long. He hasn't tampered with it. Banachek, it's up to you now. I've heard you've slept with it. I slept with it. I did some yoga, cleaned my... Island, I did everything. All right, so let's get um, into yeah, it. Hold on a let's second. see. Let's, okay, so go ahead and open it up. Okay. You got it? You just got to push this over. Push yeah, back. push those over because I put the numbers on for you. Oh, no, hit, pull them out. Side, yeah, I'll get it. Oh, like that. Like All that. Right. All right, boom. And now inside there, okay. there is another envelope. I want you to take a look at that. Okay. Okay, make Open sure. It up. No, no, just make sure it's sealed for right now. Okay, it's sealed. Okay. Completely sealed. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All the way. Yeah. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Lauren from Wicked to come in here, if you will, Lauren. Okay. All right. And Lauren, uh, I have a marker. I want you to take that. All right. I also have a, a newspaper. I want you to take that as well. And if you would open it up just so the whole front page and that's, is down. And that's, that's today's newspaper. That's today's, yeah, today's newspaper. Just hold it like that. That's the okay. Las Vegas Review, and you can see the date right over here. Can you circle the date on there for me? Um, are we on me? Okay, good. Because inside here, okay, so we have... Okay, so open this for the first yeah, time. Yeah, we have another, there's another envelope inside here, oh all right? Oh, my God. And uh, inside this one... There is another envelope. What? And it should be uh, inside right. So we here. open the suitcase. We got this. And they should then be... you open this, and now there's And this. I don't want to touch that, but what I want you to do is look at the back. It's signed. And inside there, there should be a prediction, if you would take that out for me. Okay. Because I don't want to actually touch it. I'm starting to, like, shake. I'm starting okay. to get... It's, that's what you need. Okay. So what I want you to start to do with that is yeah. let's go with... Um, Let's go with the non-printed side first. Okay, so there's two sides to There's this. two sides. Okay. This is a mock-up of a newspaper. Let's show it to there. And if we look, can we get all of us in the shot at the moment? Because I want the paper in there as well. And if we look over here at the very top, it says Team Run. And would you tell me if there's anything up top here that says Team Run? I think right over, oh, oh right my here, God. Team Leads. 
run. What? Okay. And then the next thing, if you can just, yeah, right there, it says uh, uh, mask vaccine evidence. And this says a large venues may opt out for indoor mask mandate by requiring vaccine evidence. Oh, my God. The next line is football evidence. Raiders. So next we have the Raiders will require proof of COVID right there. Okay. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Afghan Kabul, uh, Kabul chaos. So we've got uh, chaos. We've got Kabul. Okay, oh. leaving Afghan. We get down here. We've got a big picture. There's a guy with a cell phone, which is right there. There's a guy that says yellow, which what? is right there. We also have that little door with a guy trying to get in, which is right there. We have a uh, big head guy right there over here. We have this guy running right there, which is right there. Seven die at the airport, which is seven killed at airport right there. Uh, airport, Nevada. What so we've got, uh, there's a story about airport. There's a story about Nevada over here. President right here. We got the picture of the president right there. And then down at the bottom, we've got uh, water shortage, Lake Mead, water shortage, Lake Mead. What is going on? We are not done yet. Turn it over. Oh, my God. And would you I read off to the camera what this says? Who has a Tylenol? Oh, my Lord. Banachek predicts things that happened week of the 10th through 17th, August 2021 for Fox 5 Las Vegas. Here we go. Now, you probably know some of these stories. So, uh, go Here ahead. we go. Shrimp will be recalled from Target, Walmart, or Whole Foods. It turned out shrimp was recalled from Target and Whole Foods, okay. but not Walmart. I do mostly shrimp dining out, not as much in, so I didn't know that. Okay, but that's good. Next Unfortunately, one. there will be another earthquake in Haiti, a big one, at least a 7 .0. And it was a 7.2. So, I was a little off. But that's so, good. Okay, Austin will flood and state buildings will flood. And the Capitol building in Austin flooded. Okay, the Taliban will take over Afghanistan and the president will flee the country or city at least. Which he did. Yes. Here's one for you. Raider will either win or lose by exactly 13 points. I want to err on the winning since I'm from Vegas. Do you remember what the they, score was? What was the score? They, they actually won by 13 points. So that's, you got that right on. They yep. won. And then I have met Shaquille O'Neal a few times, once with Chris Angel, making him float over Chris's house when I was a magic consultant on Mind Freak. Mike Davis will meet Shaquille O'Neal this week. So all this did came you? together. I did meet Shaquille O'Neal last week. So, I mean, look at all of this. I, I, I guess the only question I have is how? How? That I think everybody at home needs to know. This I'm, is I'm, not a, I'm not a psychic. I will say that 100% definitely not a psychic. Give us something. One little thing. I, I, I My mind is blown. I, I, how... I use verbal, nonverbal cues, magic, psychology. It's usually a mixture of all of those things. I'm not going to tell which it is because I don't want to take away the mystery. Oh, my Lord. Wow. Come this see is the show. Ba this is Banachek. Go to the Strat every day, 4 p.m. Thank you so much, L.A., for all your help. I don't know what to say, Jason, Alyssa. That's, I, I, look at all that. I, um, all I would oh, ask is, I'm you know, shaking. for, for Banachek to predict to some say. happier news. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. and that's not even us. That's the newspaper. I huh? know. Wow. All well, right, Mike. That. I'm in disbelief. Jason? I, I'm excited because Banachek will now predict all of my football games and I will win for a change.